I'll let you in on a little secret. There is a way that you can lose 10, 20, and even 30% and still make money. Let me show you how. Flow-through shares are shares that have been issued out by companies in the oil and gas, mining, and renewable energy sector. But for now, let's just focus on the mining sector. The Canadian government provides tax breaks towards companies that use their capital towards the development and exploration of Canadian natural resources. Now only Canadian junior companies qualify for these tax deductions, as it's the government's way of making sure that these startups grow. But where does all the capital come from for these explorations? It's from you, the investor. By buying these flow-through shares, the government allows you to flow through that tax deduction, allowing you to use them on your taxes. But who is this investment suitable for? Let's find out. Now, there are risks, so this is not suitable for all investors. If you're someone who has maxed out your RSP contribution room and has an income higher than $225,000 a year, this is a good option for you to look at to bring down your tax bill. There are two ways to invest in flow-through shares. The first is a direct placement. Now, this is risky because all of your money is concentrated in one company. And most of the time, this is locked up for a four-month hold period until you can sell your shares. Because of the risk, you need to be an accredited investor to go this route. The other method is to invest through an LP, a limited partnership. Think of this like a mutual fund. Instead of going all in on one company, an LP pools investors' money together and splits it across multiple flow-throughs. That way, instead of owning just one company, you own 20 companies, a more diversified way to help mitigate some of the company risk. Either way, investors are compensated for their investment by getting a tax credit, so they can use this to bring down their taxable income. Let's say you have a $100,000 tax bill because you made a lot of money this year. Option number one is we pay the government $100,000 is out the door, said and done, no risk, boom. Option number two is we invest that $100,000 in flow through shares. Year one, right away, you're going to get about $70,000, so 70 cents on the dollar right back in tax credits, which means that you're only risking 30% of your money in the investment. Even if we sold this investment four months later at 60 cents on the dollar, well, you're actually still making money. So we would have to lose more than this to be worse off than had we just paid our taxes. Now, it's not risk-free, it just gives us a really good head start. Now remember, these junior companies are not yet profitable, and that's largely because they are in the development and exploration stage. That being said, the right investment may result in a capital gain because they may find a significant reserve. If you're really looking to maximize your tax savings, there's additional tax credits that can be applied for called super flow through shares. These can get you an additional 15 to 30% in tax credits. The reason for this is that certain provincial governments can offer an additional tax credit for exploration taken within their jurisdictions. To qualify for this, you must be a resident of that province and only invest in companies doing exploration and development within the province itself. But if you're looking to keep more of us yours, schedule a meeting with us today. There's a link in the description below. Thank you.